This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Volmar back here with another episode of Death Mark. Yeah, not not any other death games like Death Note or Death Nail or or Death of Rainbow Lane, Ding Dong. We're playing another VN. Goy, joy, joy. I hope it's not just pure B VN, but something else involved. I, I didn't expect to get another VN like back to back. But in the last episode, we play as a man who's lost his memory and has come to this Cujo mansion to find out what's up with his lost memory and his scar in his hand. However, we find out that the scar means death. So if we don't solve this by dawn the next by the next morning or dawn itself, then we shall die. And unfortunately, if we just die, it's just game's over. So it doesn't show like a unique CG or anything like that. So that's cool. You know, it's called a visual novel. I'd like to see it, you know. But anyway, let's try. Let's try, try making the smart decision again instead of just laying on our butts until we until we die, like most people do. But uh, let's decide again. I think that'll take us back to the previous decision or the one before that. So maybe the first one. I bet. Okay, yeah, liver. He'll just start with the first choice. So. I wonder if it matters if I chose uh, chose to, to die first and then say, oh wait, never mind. No, oh, we know about this. Does it really have to show that part? Oh, okay, I can press I can press L1 to skip that one part, so. Alright, no, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna struggle. Or we're gonna fight the we're gonna fight death. Fight the mark. Fight the fight the power. Save! We made the right choice. Safe! What are we gonna use baseball terms now? Survived. Wow, you're really going out of your way to say, man, you made the right choice, like, but I just made the obvious choice, like, otherwise the game ends. You know, if I walk, the movie is over, you know, that type of thing. I decided to trust you. As you say, Lord Etterdag, then I shall carry out the dying wish of my master and aid you. I cannot do much, but feel free to request anything you wish of me. I see. Well... So, where do we start with now? I made up my mind, but that doesn't mean I know what I should do. I know squat about the supernatural, and losing my memory makes research impossible. This is a Call of Cthulhu game, isn't it? Th there's a table... I mean, I already played a Call of Cthulhu game before, but there's a tabletop version of the game as well, which is where you play investigators who just basically investigate weird events and stuff like that. And the investigators can be anything from, like, private detectives to professors or whatever. But it's the same concept. It's, like, basically normal people just dealing with the supernatural, whether it be ghosts, you know, Cthulian horrors or whatnot. So it's an interesting uh, tabletop game if you're... It's definitely for more mature mature or serious players. Not that you can't have fun with it or be silly, although you, it's better to play Pulp Cthulhu if you're going to do that. But, uh, but anyway, uh, you know, different, definitely different from D&D. &D. But they don't have a moment to lose. And here I am talking about tabletop games. A knock comes from the front door. Who'd come here this late at night? Should we hide the body? Oh, my, what a sign of fate. It seems that other mark bearers have arrived. Others? I thought this was just going to be me. Is it an instinct that she knows these things? What is this going to be Don Don Parara or whatever that game is, where basically like these people all end up trapped together? Or, yeah, I guess trapped together, and then you know ones get taken out one by one. You have to solve the mystery of the murder and all that, depending on which version of the game you play. I've I haven't actually played the game. Um, I just know bits and pieces about it. I thought about I thought about if that was like one of be one of the few VNs I play. It'd be that, but. Lo and behold, I played two back to back that I didn't even expect to. Maybe she has some kind of a mysterious power being a talking doll and all. I beg your pardon, Lord Atterdag. I do apologize, but could you go greet our guests in my stead? They may experience a shock if a doll such as myself welcomes them. Moreover, while I am able to move my arms, I am unable to walk. What good are you then? I moved to the front door to greet our guests. People faded to die, like me. I wonder what they're like. Oh, they're going to be wacky, I tell you. Who I find at the door are not who I expect to see out this late at night. Dip. Oh, a, a Japanese schoolgirl? <laughs> you know, a Japanese schoolgirl in a Japanese game. What a surprise. A high schooler. And a small boy. Ugh. Please don't bring Shoto content into this like the last game did, please. These kids have the mark, but... Or er, these kids have the mark? No way. Um, we came to see Professor Cujo. Who are you? 
I can't say I'm a total stranger since I am here in the mansion. I'm her disciple, a relative, her boyfriend. <laughs> but she is dead now, so. Um, yeah, let's just go with a, a relative. Oh, so you're her older brother. Sure. Your eyes do look kind of similar. She seems to know Saya Kujo. Now that I think about it, that business card did say Spirit Healer. Going off this girl's accessories, I get the feeling she's a huge occult fan. Man, she'd work well in the, in the uh, Call of Cthulhu tabletop game. I'm Moe Watanabe. Watanabe? <laughs> what do you, was your family doomed to die every generation, like in a, a live a live? I'm, yeah, check that one out. That's an interesting RPG that we never got in America. I'm here to talk to her about this article she wrote in OOP o Oop Arts Monthly. Oop Arts? She pulls an occult magazine out of her bag. Inside is a picture of the mark. The accompanying article says the scar is... A soul inhabiting disease that raises memories in Choir Cujo Mansion. Um, this is the same scar, right? I've noticed if it's a female voice, it's usually this color, or it could be just anyone who is not the main character talks in that color, which might throw me off if there's like two people on screen, so I'll have to see how that works. Moe lifts up her skirt a bit to show me her leg. Ooh, we're getting saucy. Oh wait, we're we're probably an older man. Warning alert! Ah, FBI! Oh god! Right there in her right thigh is the mark. I think I know what that article means by erasing memories. I've been super forgetful lately. I'm even blanking on my friends' names. That's never happened to me before. Do you think the scar's doing it? Sounds like it. Um, oh, so it's basically anyone who's not the main character gets the same color text. Oh, good, that's not going to be... You know, make me forget who's talking sometimes. That article is obviously bogus. I don't know if that's the voice I'm going to give the kid. I should give... I, I know what to do. The young boy scoffs. Even kids know better than to believe in ghosts or curses these days. In all our school, it fell for it. You must be embarrassed about that. But Tsukasa... Weren't you hanging around out in front of the mansion gate? Fess up, your scar scares you. Dot dot dot. Sukasa seems to have no retort to that. He silently sulks. Looks like a bullseye. Oh good, so we're the older man taking care of kids. That's great. It's clear they're both mark bears. I better bring them over to meet Mary. Yeah, let's scare the bejesus out of them. Moe shrieks excitedly when she gets close. But Joy? Oh my god, it's so cute. I should have given her the valley girl voice. It's a doll, yeah? I've never seen one this big before. The craftsmanship is so detailed. It's almost like it's alive. They're both admiring her when... Welcome to Kojo Mansion. <laughs> what? It, it spoke? Or with... See, I don't know if that's Tsukasa or the girl talking, though. Because it doesn't have a name. Like, at least in other games, it'd have their name on, like, the left corner to say who's talking. You know. With that, the two new visitors join our number. They enter this monstrous world that hovers on the precipice of death. Mary tells Mo, Moe, I guess it would be Moe, and Tsukasa about the mark once they begin to regain their composure. All about the steady memory loss and their imminent death. It sounds like a ridiculous story, but it gains validity coming from someone like her. Both of their faces pale. You mean turn pale? Anyway. Now, if it came specifically here because you believe, or er, sorry, if you came specifically here because you believe Lady Saya's article, you must have already experienced the pain of losing your memories. Got another game about losing memories. Ugh. Dot dot dot. Moe admitted as much earlier, but I can see Sukasa's face darken, so it must be happening to him, too. Hey, Moe, I'd like to confirm something. Where were you when you got the mark? My amnesia seems to be worse than theirs, so they might remember. I'm not positive, but I think my mark may curse from Hana, Hana, Hanahiko? Honey? I guess it would be Hanahiko. Hanahiko? This name is familiar to me. He is the ghost the resident children of this town whisper about, correct? My master was interested in him. 
So Sayakujo was curious too. Could be connected to the mark somehow. I'd like to hear more about this ghost. As you wish, Lord Edertag. So we got curses, spirits, ghosts. What else? Then I shall tell you this. Okay, that went by way faster than I expected. Chapter one, Hanahiko. <laughs> that wasn't creepy. Oh, did you hear? About that ghost boy all the schools in H.C. you're talking about. Sounds like Hanahiko is back. I heard that he can appear if, if you peek in a school mirror at night. He'll ask you something. Am I pretty? If you tell him no, you'll be fine, but if you say yes... Give me that red stuff then. Manners, dude. And then he just disappears. But that's not all. Hanahiko hates adults, you know. I heard that if the person he asks is an adult, they'll die. And not just drop dead. Their blood is their blood is drained from them. I don't even know if this is the doll talking. I'm just gonna use a random voices every time. The next step the next and next to the course is a single rose. A rose dripping with blood. Kinda reminds me of a bad creepy pasta. <laughs> That that that, that kind of ruins the validity of this game's seriousness. Rumors can be easily manipulated, passing from one person to another. Assumptions and error mix in, but they also hold a hint of truth. Miss Moe, do you know anything else? Wait, was it Moe talking during that story? Oh, well, there you go then. I'll remember that for the future. Dot dot dot. I think I probably got my mark when I was investigating Hanahiko at H Elementary School. This has got to be some sort of clue. I should ask her more about it. Uh, was Hanahiko there when you noticed the mark? Why are you at H Elementary? My big dream is to write about the occult, so I'd love to see a g -g 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 ghost I found this article in a magazine mentioning Hanahiko was seen there. I figured that place would be easier to sneak in than a regular school, since it's been closed down. What should I ask her next? Well, what does it matter? I mean, well, I was going to ask her everything. Was Hanahiko there? I don't think so. But I can't really say for sure. I went to the mirror, but a shiver suddenly ran down my spine. I got spooked and left. And yeah, when did you notice the mark? I noticed it later in the bath. A strange scar was suddenly on my thigh. It really surprised me. I realized immediately that it had to be what Professor Kujo wrote about. I think I have a handle on what happened. No way to know for sure about the ghost. But there's no dying she had the mark after returning home from H Elementary. Maybe. Sukasa so glances down at his left hand. Oh, I'll mop if I'm on Eco too. I'll notice it after I got home from T Elementary. That ghost was seen a lot at school in H City, right? You know, I, I changed from like Cockney in at Australian all of a sudden. Not that either one's good, I'm just saying that. <clears throat> Maybe he's remembering remembered something. I better ask him some questions too. T elementary. I go to school there. <clears throat> oh, voice. Um. Oi, 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 oi. I go to school there. You probably heard of it since it's the top right elementary in H City. What's your ass now? Oh, what was that? Maybe around saw that. It was at any moment until I realized I forgot something. I turned back. Okay. Did you see Hanahiko? No, and I didn't get chills or anything either. Oh, but I think I passed the mirror. I went to the bathroom before going home. I don't think he knows anymore. Your stories are pretty similar to the Hanahiko rumor. It can't be just a coincidence. So you think these are all curse of a vengeful spirit or something? You must investigate the places where Hanahiko appeared, for their sake as well as yours. Do we really have enough time? Like, we have to, we have until dawn, right? Like, what time of night is it? Do we only have till, like, the standard, like, eight hours or something like that? Till, like, six or seven in the morning or whatever? Well, that's all well and good, but what exactly am I investigating? Death and life coexisting. 
If the mark originated there, then a way to erase it will also be there. You must find it. Find the key you need to break the mark's curse. That is the only way to escape. And all of a sudden, a huge burden was dropped on my shoulders. Good. It seems that Han and Hiko appeared at two schools. Where will you investigate? I mean, I assume we just have to check both, so let's go with the top first, H Elementary. Yeah, that's probably wise. They'd arrest you on the spot if you tried to sneak into a regular school. Oh, I didn't even think about that. A middle-aged man who can't recall his name, let alone address or job title. I'd have no excuses if I got caught. Wanna get going, then? Let's do this. Let's do it! Oh, sorry. Wait, you're coming, too? Uh, of course. I haven't given up on seeing Hanahiko yet. She grins at me. Is she really strong? Or is this blind optimism? I'm gonna do. Hey, not you too. Seriously? Oh, I don't want the reason I doll to be because you messed something up. That's pretty bold. Good thing you're cute. Ugh, what? I, I know he's just me as a kid in general. Just like, oh, aren't you a cute little bugger? You know, that type of thing. But, ew. but to bring kids along with me is... I understand your hesitation. But the mark does not discriminate single lives of children and adults. Oh, good. We have a... We have a... We have a woke, woke curse. <laughs> Sorry, that was bad. That was a bad joke. If they wish to fight their fate, you should honor that. I suppose human logic doesn't fly when dealing with the supernatural. We'll need to prepare ourselves for the worst if they're going to survive. If we're going to survive. Please take only one mark bearer with you. However, a large group will increase the odds of you being detected by spirits. I also ask that you do not waste time tunneling with others on the way. It is possibly unnecessary content may hasten the effects of the mark. How do you know this if we don't really know what's going on? I mean, Kujo's had some inclination, but it seems like you know a bit more than we expect. Only engage with absolute ne necessary. When absolute necessary, keep contact with others to a minimum. Have a safe trip. So who do we keep, take with us? Select a partner. First select a mark bearer. Do this in the partner menu. Oh yeah, hey mister. Don't you think it'd be a good idea to take notes on what Mary told us? Or Mary's told us? Your memory's getting worse all the time. We don't want to forget anything. I don't know when I'll lose my memory again. I'll write down all the information I get and keep it in my file. Something that might just save our lives at some point. New info was added to the spirit file. Rumors of Hanahiko Other. How do we access the spirit file? Oh, okay, this guy tells spirit file. Important info and spirits will be added to the spirit file. Check it from your bag. Consult it if you need help. How do I get to my bag? Saving and loading. Oh, finally. Now I, I actually didn't save it between the last episode of this one because I didn't know how to save it. So I was like, uh, well? <laughs> save, again. save at the mansion or haunts. Return to the title screen for the bag to load. Then choose continue. Oh, now we can save. Okay. So we can choose a partner to choose bag. I wonder if time goes by or if only time goes by in certain situations or if it's just it the story goes and the only time we have to worry is if we make poor decisions so oops okay so let's see background music i think i'll it ha, none of this has sounded too loud and when i checked the volume for my pr uh, when, I, when i was when i was checking the episode for uh, uh, purposes i didn't notice anything too bad so i'll probably leave it all at the the level it's at so now we don't have to worry about it oops Oh, that's how, is that how you save? It's just, oh, okay. Now oh, let's, uh, oh, there it is, square. So just, that just saves the savings and the squares if I want to save it. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. All right, cool. Neat. All right, let's talk to the, our, the two people before we leave. Please head to each elementary and invest in Hanahiko. Choose whether to bring Lady Boe or Lord Tsukasa with you. A large group will increase the odds of you being detected by spirits. And do not waste time dawdling. It is possibly unnecessary content. Oh, okay, we know about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wonder... Maybe you just get different info with the two characters or whatever. Maybe you solve the case faster or whatever. I don't know. We'll find out. All right. What do we got in the bag? Ah, we're creepy. So we got 10 power, 10 intelligence, 9 spirit power, 11 dex. Does that mean anything? That looks like... Really, when you think about it, for being a VN, that almost seems like gibberish. Let's see what that does. Okay, letter opener. Infinite. 
A pure leather silver a pure leather silver opener taken from the mansion hall. A beautiful woman's face is engraved on the handle. The blade isn't sharp, but it can handle soft items. Command. Stab with knife. Range short. What, is there like a combat in this game or something? This is Hanahiko, the spirit file. Rumors of the mark. Strange rumors in each city say those who bear the mark will die. A strange scar appears on your body suddenly. It's caused by curses or unexpected contact with ghosts. And it's said it heralds your upcoming death. I soon find that I have the same scar on my arm. That's not all. Oh, I should be using my same voice. Man, I'd rather do my fancy voice. Kujo Mansion. I blinked out for some reason after I noticed the scar. The next I know, I'm in front of a strange building called Kujo Mansion. There I find the corpse of a victim of the mark, one Saya Kujo, as well as a talking doll. Two more mark bearers are added to our numbers, and we decide to uncover the cause of the mark. To do that, we'll investigate a ghost story. Oh, is that it? Just a... Okay, so it just goes back. What's the... Uh... Uh, check these out. Okay. Moe Watanabe, sex female. Yes, please. No. Occupation, high school student. High school, a high school girl who loves the occult. She got the mark at H Elementary and came to Kujo Mansion seeking help from Saya Kujo, a medium. She's quirky, but always energetic and cheerful. She marches to the beat of her own drum. And Sukasa Yoshida, male. Occupation, elementary school student. A young boy from a prestigious private school whose wealthy upbringing makes him polite and courteous. But he also can be insufferable at times. When he's in danger, his true egotistical self-centered nature peeks through. Whoa, I just, you know, I just noticed that he changes, like, if you leave it on there too long, he changes to a different, like, uh, facial expression. That's kind of creepy. So, yeah, she starts out as being all nice and cheerful, and then if you wait a few seconds, I don't know how long it actually takes to do that, but she... Well, last time I saw it, she looked like she appeared to, like, be worried or, or whatever. How long does it take, anyway? Okay, there we go. She does the whole maybe worried, and then he gets pissed off. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, uh, no, we don't need to do that yet. All right, so who do we take with us? The cheeky proge uh, progeny or the occult lover? Um, uh, probably you know, obvious obvious people would probably choose Moe in this case. You know, the typical high school girl with the older older dude. But uh, let's uh, let's change the mold a bit. I mean, I don't know how. That's just changes the story, but let's choose the cheeky prodigy Sukasa to join us. Yes. Alright, let's, uh, let's, I guess, I guess we just exit, so. First, we have to get to H Elementary. Mary says we're free to use the car in the garage. Good thing it's gassed up, hopefully. Or bikes. Or an old 70s bus. I forgot. I think that's a Volkswagen bus or something like that. The garage is detached from the mansion. The vintage model van and bicycles only accent the elegant interior. Thank God for careless people. The car key was left on the table. Time to go. Um, go on to Mary. Your amnesia is so bad you've forgotten the name. Are you really able to drive? He looks at me doubtfully. Don't worry, it'll be fine. I think. It'll come back when I take the wheel. Yeah, just like riding a bike. Part of that is to convince myself. You don't have your license, do you? I'll think even passengers get in trouble if you're caught with that one. Yeah, it could go down and go on my permanent record. Why does it remind me of SpongeBob all of a sudden? To be worrying about school now? After all, we do have more pressing worries if we don't get rid of this mark. All future's wrong on this, so please make sure to draw off safely. Fine. Uh, oh, and we can go back to the mansion or whatever. But, nope, let's get on with it. H Elementary. Of course that means I'll either have to, like, go back to old parts because you can only save at haunts or the mansion, so I have to keep that in mind when it... That's kind of almost inconvenient. Even, uh, even, uh, even the world ends with you or whatever lets you, or the world is ended, let me save whenever I wanted to, but... I think it's because there's a mechanic of the whole soul power thing or whatever, uh, making bad choices that they want to have some some sense of like danger and all that, but human bodies are remarkable. Back in the garage, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to drive or not. But the second my hands touched the wheel, I wasn't worried anymore. My muscles reacted quicker than I expected, and it's now easier to guide this monster down the road. Yeah, we are driving, like I said, a Volkswagen Beetle or whatever the Japanese equivalent is, but now lots of what I can no longer do start to filter into my head. 
something I'm gonna ask or something. So Costa pipes up hesitantly. I probably let the silence go on too long. How about it? How bad is it? Uh, you're on my uh, amnesia. That is, won't be rude of me to ask, but I'm concerned. I'm concerned, Pa, too. Concerned party. Complex words from an elementary school kid. I don't know. I have no idea if the, if it's getting worse or better. I don't know what it's like to begin with, so there's nothing to compare to. In that sense, rather than the memories vanishing, it's like everything has been painted white. That's what it feels like. I'll see. Dun dun dun. Well, this is fun. Talking to, talking to a kid that's probably not the same mental equivalent as us. Probably even better. But anyway, the conversation dwindles, leaving only the sounds of the tires on the road. Kind of like me when I drive. Then thoughts start popping in my head again, one after another. First of all, to search for that Mia. Well, what should we investigate after that? No idea. Can't even remember all, I can't even remember my own name. How the hell am I supposed to know what we're doing? Paul, you can say that. Think whatever you want. I'm talking to a child. I need to show restraint and be a good example. But that's definitely how I real, really feel. Stare down at the steering wheel. Da! The doll in the mansion. Mark Bears. The Mark Spirits. And the Mysterious Deaths. Deaths. I feel like I'm going to be buried under all the crushing thoughts that keep popping into my head. In my brain! What awaits me down this dark road? I feel a flutter from the mark on my wrist, like it's trying to warn me. My brain not be, might not be able to understand, but my body can sense it. That death is closing in. Death is closing in. If that happens, happening, if that's happening, isn't the problem anymore. It's more, how long do I have left? Well, I don't know, we chose the bad ending, we just died, so we don't know how long it took till we get there. How much longer? Duh. I almost yell, but I managed to swallow it down with effort. I think we're almost there. Already? It's pretty close, then. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly right. Any time it could. It's a lot closer than you think. Here we are, first day at school. Oh, God. Look, look me ominously in the moonlight. The school definitely looks abandoned. Quite a number of years, in fact. The walls are starting to crack. All the windows are broken as well. A thick chain is in front of the main gate to keep people from going in. Doesn't do a very good job if that one girl got in pretty easily. I mean, look at this. It. it looks like you just Shut jump over and go under it. Um, hey, you there. No, no, step. Now, well, close. The enthusiastic voice comes from a man in a guard uniform. Must be patrolling the area. Looks like we got caught. This probably belongs to the city. Uh, <coughs> doing the wrong voice now. Um, maybe I should just do the... This property belongs to the city. No one's allowed inside. Don't you know? Or are you up to something? Whoa, that's a creepy eyes. A bunch of people have been coming here on dare since it's haunting, haunted. You aren't one of them, are you? No, we're not. Yes, that's exactly it. It's haunted? Well, that's what the rumors are saying, anyway. It's a giant pain. Sukasa so nods in agreement. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of articles on it. The guard sighs. Anyway, the school's off limits, so you can't go inside. I don't want any trouble on my first shift here. Please leave. Me okay. Know. Well, of course we're going to go inside. Otherwise, we're going to die. Muttering to himself, the guard makes his way into the school. Oh, good, he's going into the school. As we watch him leave, Sakasa leans over and whispers. I don't expect it as much. I don't know why. would be in deep trouble if we're caught while investigating it. Yep. Moving around a haunt. Use the directional buttons to move. The map shows which way you're facing and where you can go. But we can possibly get caught. Well, at least it's not a standard, uh... 
um, standard visual novel. At least you've got kind of like how Ghost Hunters had RPG elements. Looks like this one has like exploration, so at least it's slightly different than the the world has ended. So and it's got a mystery, so at least I'm more invested in this than I was in that game for sure. So. Anyway, will we be able to find out uh, about Hanahiko inside of H Elementary? Will we be caught by the guard? Or uh, or what? will we find some interesting info about a predicament? Find out next time in the next episode of Deathmark. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.